Howdy folks, Kerbo here. We're back with more cattle and crops. Not a new series yet, but I wanted to give a quick overview of the PGA changes in uh, version 0.6. Patch just came out uh, yesterday as I'm recording this. And we're here at the home farm and you can see the silos are a little different. And uh, we have a control panel. But uh, this one is not yet implemented. I believe it's the same control panel down at the PGA. Uh, but these just don't work yet. So we're going to go do the mission. There's a mission for uh, the BGA. And I've not even done that yet. So this is going to be the, the first little walkthrough here. And we'll learn as I go. So we're going to go over to quests. BGA intro. And it's going to give us some stuff. And we earn some reputation at the bio gas plant. Go to the Axion. All right. Where is the Axion? <laughs> I think that's the, that's the little guy. It's apparently at the, the BGA, so let's just tab to that. There we go. Where are we? Yeah, we're just outside the BGA. There we go. Looks like we got a load of maize. Yeah, maize shaft. So if you watched my first series, um, that farm is gone. There's just too many incompatibilities. I was using mods and and whatnot. So that save uh, was a little goofy. So I have cleared that out completely, reset everything, and I've got a few of the controls set back to what I think they were. But for the most part, I'm using default controls, so this might be a little bit clumsy as I get used to the game again. Alright, so we're coming across a scale here, it looks like. That apparently is not yet implemented. There's a display there, though, so that's kind of cool. Now, it says drive to silo number three, and I have that on my map, but what I'm curious... Is there anything in-game to tell me that that's silo number three? Don't see any numbers painted on the ground. Obviously, I have the mission marker, but yeah, let's put the brake on. Let me just hop out here real quick. Well, this says not yet implemented as well, and I thought I thought you actually used the screen, but I don't know. We'll walk through the mission here, and we'll see what happens. Park and break off. I'm actually going to hop outside for this. Um, I believe it actually dumps where you put it instead of having like a static uh, heap. Unload the delta cap. All right. So we're on that fill type. That's the only fill type we have. Vehicles the delta cap. And we're going to unload everything. Okay, it started filling before the animation started, but whatever. Yeah, it is like a dynamic heap now. That's kind of cool. Alright, that's everything. Drive over the scale. Yeah, that's where we came in. I guess I should have looked around. I was just looking at the scale in-game. didn't actually notice if it said anything anywhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any numbers anywhere. And that's, that's not working, but okay. In a future update, one would assume that would actually work. Drive to the parking lot. Okay. So they changed this up a little bit. There's new textures, there's scales, silos are different. We'll pull in here. Leave the Axion. All right, park and brake on. Go ahead and shut her down. 
Cover Silo 3 with the help of the display. Okay. Does the display work now? Go to the BGP control display. How do I do that? Oh, you can just interact with it. Okay, that's kind of cool. Reminds me a little bit of Star Citizen where you can just go up and interact with the displays. So it says 508,000 ga- Oh! <laughs> uh, okay. That's, uh, that's a nice rock texture. That's actually way more than, of course, that we dumped in there, so... So I'm guessing we just click cover silo. Okay, we've got a nice tarp on there. But it's wanting me to go to the BGP control display. I'm here. What do I do? Am I supposed to... Oh. Never mind. It wants me to go over here. Was I supposed to do something over here? Open the bunker hatch via the display. Open bunker lid. Okay. I did the wrong thing. When it said VGA display, I wasn't... Or no, it had a yellow thing over there. Okay. A little confusing, but... It's early access. Okay, so it's fast-forwarded. Uh, oh, I don't have anything set up for my animals, so they're all starving. Lovely. Uncover Silo 3 with the help of the display. A job from the co-op. Uh, not now. <laughs> I'm already doing the mission. And you got to watch. It likes to set the time to 10 times speed. Randomly. It had me open that. Now it says open bunker lid again. So I don't know. Maybe it's the same button. Anywho, let's go do what it says to do. Wasn't I supposed to uncover section one? I uh, wasn't paying attention. tell me to do. <laughs> I don't know if there's a history anywhere of what it told me to do. Active. No, nope, it doesn't tell me anywhere. Okay. Uh, well, let's, let's uncover a bit of this. So that's 25 sections there of the tarp, so that's kind of cool. All right, so we're getting uh, we're getting in the Aragon with the front loader. Okay. I'm going to switch to uh, third person once we're in the tractor. Load 5,000 kilograms into the bunker. Okay. Now, I don't think... Yeah, I don't have my mouse set up, but... It... It's a little backwards from form sim. It uses the uh, right mouse button. And I have to use five to open. There we go. With this figured out. Hundreds and hundreds of hours of farm sim memory make me want to use the left mouse button to run the front loader. We'll try using the right mouse button. It's a little awkward. Okay, the stuff in the bucket's a different texture, but hey, <laughs> it's early access. So that's 317 gallons. I don't know how much that weighs. So I guess we just dump it in here, right? Is that how that goes? Why is it going out so slow? Oh, no, oh, oh, that 
somewhat fast. Oh, if you put it right there, it goes faster. Okay. Are you kidding me? That's one pixel worth? Alright, this might be a really long video. <laughs> this is going to take too long. We'll, uh, we'll make an edit. It's interesting. It only fills up if you're like actually driving into it. I'm used to the magic of farm sim. Nope, oh, wrong button. There we go. I know sometimes on missions it has like a skip button so you can skip the drudgery. All right, so we need low and then tip. Whoa, there we go. Oh, now that display works. Does that say kilograms? Oh, I can't see in here. No, that's gallons. 403.7. Okay. Oh, that's neat. You can actually see under the cab. Oops. What was the crouch key? I forget. Can't crouch. Anyway, got distracted. Shiny. Alright, we'll, we'll try one more scoop to see if we get the skip. Otherwise, I will put a break here and not make you sit through half an hour of me doing this. Alright, let's do this from the cab. This works a lot better when I've got my joystick and wheel and everything set up. Don't have that. Oh! Nope, still no skip. So I'll put in a cut here and I'll be back once I've got this bunker filled up. Yep, it makes you put every last little bit in there. So we're just about done. What I discovered is if you dump right there at that lip, it goes in quick. If you get over that, it goes in really slow for some reason. What's kind of cool is that it's, it's actually making a heap down in this bunker here. There we go. Drive to the parking lot. Okay. I'm not sure why the AI wants me to drive all the way around there, but... <laughs> Pathfinding's a little goofy. So, we'll just park in here. Lower that. Congratulations! Mission complete! Okay. That's all there is to that. And then, as I understand it, this turns into money. <laughs> I think. So, 3,800 gallons, basically. So, now what do we do over here? We click that, does it close it? Yeah, so that's just a toggle. Then what I, from what I understand reading the patch notes, this will get turned into methane. And then that gets turned into income for us over like the next period. Come yeah, on, get up there. And you can see here it's actually updating the display. So we put 3,800 gallons in there. And then there's digest eight. Methane gas production is zero pounds. Accumulated income is zero. Uh, 56 cents per pound is the current gas price. Oh, it gives you an expected methane gas production of, I think that's a one there, 1,400 pounds. We're going to make $800. All right. Very good. Well, I guess... Oh, all the mission stuff disappeared. So I guess that's it for the mission. Let me see if there's a... Is there a follow-up to that? No, these are all just the normal ones. We've seen all those before. So I wonder... Let's uh, let's watch the screener. I'm going to just fast-forward a bit. Uh, that's pretty much it for the BGA mission. Okay, so if we're... 
really fast forward. You can see that it's, it's taking that in pretty quick. So that's like a couple hours and it's all in there. And we're making lots of methane. I wasn't watching my money up there. Was the money going up? The bunker is empty. Oh, nice. Now, I think it may only pay you per month. Is this stats for this month? And I don't actually... What is the day? Uh, calendar. So, it's the first of... Yeah, this is the day. So, it's the first of June. So, if I fast forward, I'd have to go back to the farm. That's as fast as we can go. The new weather system. <laughs> Wee! Flying through the days. So none of this has changed. Yeah, it's still the uh, the 1500. But I would assume let's uh, let's hop back to the farm here. There's my tractor. Yeah, I know, cat. All you do is complain. Where are you? So got our kitty. <laughs> let's uh let's go sleep till like July 1st and one would assume we get the money then. What day is it? It's now the 3rd of June, so if we sleep for, say, 30 days, we'll definitely be in July. So we don't need to sleep any hours, but let's sleep 28 days. 28, there we go. Time flies when you're farming. Then we should realize that income, one would assume. I don't think I can go down to the BGA like in Farm Sim, you can visit places. I don't think that uh, happens here. But uh, you can see our money went up. So we got our money from the BGA. Let's go take a look at... Balance, current month, should, nope, uh, all, nope, I'm not going to show that here, all set to show off the money coming in, like this is apparently still a, a work in progress, well anyway, the money went up, we got our money from that, so that's cool. Just uh, another way to make money. Take your uh, corn shaft down there, turn it into methane, and then uh, you get paid at the end of the month based on how much you put in there. Uh, so that's cool. Another, just before I close out the video, if we take a look at the field manual, it's changed quite a bit. Did I say manual? I meant screen. Um, this is another big thing. So I may do another video. Uh, or I, 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 don't, I don't think I'll start up a series again. Because they're still working on the weather. I'd like the weather to be more fleshed out. Before we jump in and do another series. But uh, we might do something with, with the fields. You can see here it's based on your fruit preference. It gives you kind of your targets per acre of your nitrogen, phosphate, and what is K? Potassium. There we go. Been a long time since chemistry class. Uh, you can pick your your fruit and it gives you targets and it shows you the the current soil parameters and then you have to pick and decide what you're going to put on there so if we were going to grow let's say we're just going to grow hush cat we're going to grow wheat kitty i'm trying to do a video okay you do this every time I'm trying to make a video good kitty <laughs> Owned field three. So if we're going to plant wheat on field three, you can see well, we're, we're almost there for nitrogen and potassium. Water is fine. Air temperature is good for germination. Although it seems really cold. 
for June. Yeah, like I said, they're still fleshing out some of this weather stuff. Uh, but we are low on phosphates. So we need to get some phosphate on there. And I actually don't know. I think that's from Slurry. Am I wrong? I'll have to research that. I'm going to have to learn a lot more about farming. Because I think... I don't want to get too far in the weeds here. I thought they had something about... I don't see it in here right now, but uh, anyway, we're gonna have to figure out what all uh, does what. Oh, the store. That's what I'm thinking of, the store. I know, kitty. Nope, it's here and map. They added a new trader. So, uh, is it silage? Bales? No, slurry. I don't think I can... Can't visit there, I can drive there. Uh, you can now sell slurry directly at the harbor, which is another addition. Should have left that up. Uh, that's the vehicle trader. So anyway, there's there's more to do. So I might do another video. This was running on. That is the uh, BJA mission. Thanks for hanging out. And I will talk to you later.